What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. The holidays brought with them bone-chilling temperatures and biting arctic winds that left many without the ability to leave their homes. The holidays are meant to be a time of togetherness, but many were not able to make it out to spend time with their loved ones. Mountaintop spoke with Michelle Martell to learn how to cope with the seasonal depression during these times of isolation. January is a great month if you can with the ongoing potentially cold temperatures that we may be seeing more of to try to come up with some creative ways to socialize. Um, one of the Perhaps few positive things that I feel like came out of the pandemic was that um, I think people did find ways to creatively interact with other people that may allow them to stay at home. So, um, you know, I'm obviously a big proponent of uh, telehealth services for therapy, but, you know, you can use your um, teleservices like Zoom or whatever to connect with people, even people in different parts of the country that you might not have connected with before. Communication with others, picking up a new skill or hobby, and getting exercise in the comfort of your own home are all things that can have positive impacts on your mental health during these times of isolation. Even if you're unable to get outside and do exercise because of the weather, or if you're unable to do even remote social activities or texting or telephone even, um, you can also do things like, uh, smaller things like new activities, new hobbies, or even smaller than that, uh, injecting your day with small pleasurable activities. Like for me, it would be like coffee, baking cookies, um, reading a good book, taking a hot bath. With no end of winter in sight, it is important for those affected by seasonal depression to maintain a healthy state of mind. Though it is cold and dreary now, spring will be here before you know it. Until then, maintaining habits to promote positive mental health is a must. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.